that's the key to City Council. Once you, once that decision has been, been made, it, whether you agree or disagree, you need to support it. During his 13 years on City Council, Dan Jones has come to accept defeat while celebrating victories, perhaps a skill he learned while playing football at the University of Minnesota. I know I'm going to go play for the Gophers. I'm a total homer white bear. With a resume of volunteerism as lengthy as his stride, Jones says his mother, active in local politics and community when he was growing up, ignited his passion to serve. Trying to give back as best you can, no matter what you have, you always can. A husband and father of three daughters, he's found a way to give more than his time, but his talent too. Inspired by former art teacher Frank Zeller, Jones' lifelong passion for art is reflected throughout the city. All the darker pieces do represent the depth of the lakes. He's been the creative force and artist behind the social distance bears, bathroom signs, regrow White Bear Lake, and most noticeably, the water tower greeting travelers on the interstate. All stemming from the need, he says, to do things differently. That's, that's what's been so awesome, is that the city staff and city council has been said, let's, let's do something different, let's be creative, let's not do the same old, same old governmental agency mode and that's what I appreciate that's what's been fun. Jones volunteers with the Historical Society combining his love of history and art redesigning their logo and producing a video tour of White Bear Lake. There's so much history right here it's staggering like this is just awesome I'm sorry I gotta stop I'm just seeing people you know there's folks riding their bikes love the seniors out on that yeah. this is what's so awesome about the trail. Spending some time with Jones, you learn quickly he loves the city where he was born and raised and left and returned. Grateful for its people and their outpouring of support after his daughter sustained a brain injury in 2016. Our downtown is really doing great. So, and that's thanks to a lot of hard work from the Main Street organization, Market Fest, all the business owners and the city, we've worked a lot. It's why he remains in service, believing there's still work to be done and that every person in the city has a voice. You have to have thick skin, and more importantly, you have to respect other people's opinions. That's the key, and that's what's been, you know, a timely topic today about politics, is that if you can't respect someone else's opinion, you shouldn't be doing the job.